What's up, world? What's up, world? Purple Heart Boss TV with Coach Bundy. About to hit you with another shot. Boom. And we back, man. Man, I'm a day late. <laughs> Actually, I'm two days late because I was supposed to tap back in with y'all Sunday morning, man. The morning after Saturday night. Saturday night was extremely surprising. Uh... If you ain't did so, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so we can go and get you locked in to getting this sweet potion. Uh, uh, man, the more interacting I get, the more videos I'm gonna get, man. So start interacting, like, comment, subscribe, and we're gonna keep on bringing this, bringing this shit to you. But uh, let's get to it, man. Uh, Tim Zhu versus Barack Ham Mur Murdazalia. Uh, surprising fight. The champion, which was Murtazali, Murtazali, Murtazali. Uh, he, 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 he was B-side. He was the underdog. Um, Tim Zhu, you know, he got that big Australian fan base. Um, coming off of a loss to Sebastian Fundora, split decision. Gets an immediate title shot in, like, maybe the littest division in boxing. Uh, if not second or maybe third, uh, as far as competitiveness, competitiveness, it, it's crazy. I, I didn't think Tim Zhu should have even been in um, position to get this fight. You had guys like Erks and Lubin, uh, man, uh, so Bohachuk coming off the controversial loss to Virgil Ortiz. You got Ortiz, um. You get so many guys at, at this division the, earning the title shot, deserving of a title shot, and all sanctioning bodies uh, more more deserving so than, than the guy coming off a loss. So, um, you know, it's, it's money grabs involved. All in all, though, Barack Murtazalia comes out there, first round, Feeling Tim Zhu out. Tim Zhu's trying to establish dominance and and, and and fight him. You know what I'm saying? Like he, Tim Zhu started off with a, with a little touch jab just to kind of close distance, but within the first minute, 45 seconds, 45 seconds to a minute and a half, Tim Zhu was already trying to locate his right hand and being disrespectful with it. He's winging that motherfucker. Um, um, he trying to touch down the stirs to the body. He's coming off the touch jab right hand, left hook to the body. Uh, Murder's Aleph was was rangy. He was taller than Tim Zhu, arms longer. So he had a nice sharp jab, and it was strong. And, and um, it was something about Murder's Aleph's style or presence that made Tim Zhu feel uncomfortable and, and, and had him trying to jump on him. Like Tim Zhu was, was trying to fight him, fight him early before he even knew what he had to offer. Um, Murder Salius staying, staying rangy, pop, 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 doubling up the right hand. Tim Zhu did uh, close the distance two times, I believe, towards the end of the round, middle of the round. Landed a right hand, gave him some confidence. Boom, uh, first round's over. But uh, and also in the first round, I I seen um, Barack Murdazalia timing the check hook on Tim Zhu with the leaning in when he's shooting his power. Uh, Tim Zhu would lean in, uh, and leave it there a little bit, sort of like the Earl Spence effect, which left, but. Crawford able to counter him so easily. When they when they when they leave with they they double they they jab up, shoot that power in, and it'll take them a little extra second longer to pull back and get responsible on defense. So I seen Murder's Alley putting his timing down to look for the check hook. Boom. Uh second round come out. They get the boxing. Murder's Alley is boxing. Jab, jab. He's trying to counter, shoot the right hand. Left hook, um, Tim Zhu. Like I said, something about this guy's presence that made Tim Zhu. 
he didn't like it. It was something about him that he didn't like, and he was and it was making Tim Zoo force the fire fight, which I think was a mistake. And and when you make small mistakes like the one I called the Earl Spence effect, reaching in, leaning, staying too long, um, on the world level, uh, you gonna pay for it. And that's exactly what Barack Murdersal Murdersalif made Tim Zhu do. Um, he found his timing, got his counter and damn boom, uh, boom, catching him with a left check, left hook. The timing was so beautiful on one of them, it dropped Tim Zhu. And when Tim Zhu fell, it, 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 there was no return from that point. Um, he wanted his shit back immediately instead of getting up, you know, getting on his bike a little bit, get his legs under him, try to stay composed. It wasn't none of that. Tim Zoo got up, walked straight back towards this dude. Not, not an ounce of head movement, just walking towards him, trying to, trying to, trying to catch him with the, sh with the straight right hand, even lead right hands. Uh, it's horrible to me for the world class level of fighting. Uh, once Tim Zoo got up and tried to come forward, Marcus Hallius, uh backs up, plays the back foot a little bit, tricks Tim Zhu into some false confidence, and uh, lands a, a awkward straight jab. He landed the backhand first. Bah, bah, hit the same shot. Lloyd Crawford hit Earl Spence with in the second round on the first knockdown. The backhand in the lead hand. Bop, bop. Hit Tim Zhu on the butt and dropped him. Tim Zhu's like, what the fuck? I seen it in his face. He's like, man, I, I guess Murder's Alley was strong, even stronger than he appeared to be. Um, Tim Zhu gets up. They, uh, Tim Zhu, you know, tries to come forward. No head movement. Murder's Alley is beating him pillar to post now. Uppercut, hook, right hook, left hook. Straight right hand. Push him back. Double the jab. Straight right hand. Boom, boom, boom. Um, uh, the end of that round came. Boom. Third round come in. Tim Zoo's still shaky. He didn't get the uh he didn't get the clouds out of his head in that minute worth of break. And get right back to standing straight up, walking right in. Murder's Hallie got went ahead and did what he was supposed to do. Finished him, waited on another act of aggression from Tim Zhu, and check hooked him. Boom! This time he sat down on it and turned up and turned that left hook over. Boom! Tim Zhu's nickname is the Soul Taker. I seen his soul actually leave from his body, starting from up top to his legs. Shook him up, he fell. Gets up, ref tells him, man, one more time, it's a wrap. Murder's Hallie go ahead and pours itself on him like a like a bucket of wax. Gets Tim Zoo out of there. Uh, uh, Tim Zoo's corner jumps on the apron, throws him the towel, saves him. It, it should have been stopped, if you ask me. Uh, man, it was a bad loss for Tim Zoo. Um, Fox regrouping and coming back, of course he can. I, some of my best fighters got three and four losses. Um, so yeah, he can definitely hit the drawing board, add some tweaking, take away some things, and come back better. That's a for sure thing. Uh, we know that he's fighting at the top level. He's not taking this cherry pick, that cherry pick, which I believe he should have took a, you know, more of a touch up, you know, more of a level of Bram Mendoza uh, Ramos, um, those kind of guys, he should have took one of those fights like the level right under that level. So, uh, but you know, it's a learning curve for the sport. Uh, as for the champion, uh, Barack Murdoch Aliyev, he retains his IBF world title. Um, he's got options, man. Uh, he can un look to unify with Bud Crawford, pound for pound, best in the world. Uh, he could he could give guys like Erks and Lubin a shot at the belt who has a name. Uh uh man, it's it's it's, it's a lot of work he can get at that division <coughs> that makes sense. Um Virgil Ortiz coming off a great win uh against Boatshaw. Boatshaw, like it's a lot of good fights 
for the champion at that division. So, bright future. Kudos to him. We salute him. He's a monster. He's technical. He's big. He's strong. Uh, and he's hungry, man. I, I like him. And, and that adds another spark in the uh, super welterweight division. Uh, Tim Zhu. I believe he overlooked this opponent due to not knowing how good or how bad he was. I believe he overlooked him. He was talking about fighting with Fandora again, talking about Spence fight, talking about the Bud Crawford fight. He 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 had a, a big task in front of him, but he was looking around, looking around the building for other um, presents, surprises. Uh, as boxing, man, uh, what can I say? Uh, we looking for Tim Zhu. Take him a break. Hit the drum board. Get back at it with a with a with a with a good fight and um, get yourself back in the winning column. Barack um, um Murder Zaliev, go unify. Find you one of them champions to touch it up with. Um, uh, a highly rated contender. Other than that, it's Purple Heart Boston TV with Coach Bundy. Y'all, we gonna catch you, hit you. With a, uh, uh, another shot next time, and we out.